I'm going to show you how to install gates easily using a hinge kit on steel and timber posts. It's called a drop hinge kit and it's going to change the way you hang gates. So this is a traditional gudgeon and you have to drill two holes into the post. This bottom pin sometimes requiring you to go below the surface of the ground with your hole for some small animal applications. The drop gudgeon allows you to drill your hole much higher up and it doesn't require a secondary pin because of this drop and also the extra length of the gudgeon on the pin, meaning that the weight of the gate holds it in a perfectly upright position once it's installed. For 80% of applications, this is the way to go. Particularly these days with so many of us using steel posts, the posts are so strong, there's no need for the second pin to increase the strength. Now there's two measurements that you want to take. The first one is from the bottom of your gate up to the center of your threaded rod on your bottom pin. That's 65 millimeters. The second measurement is from the middle of your bottom pin to the middle of your top pin. In this case, that's 860 millimeters. Always position your top pin in the panel that's been left bare by the gate manufacturer for its purpose. And don't position the top pin too high. Cheeky cattle and horses can lift the gate off your bottom pin by putting their nose under it. Now I'm putting up the gate where there's sloping ground, so I've dug down a little bit because I want to get this gate down nice and low. If I was keeping in horses and cattle, I could lift it up and ignore the terrain. So I've gone down a little bit deeper than I need and I've got my gate relatively level before I even start to hang it. To allow for the top of the plate, I'm going to come down 25 millimeters to the center of the threaded rod from the top wire. And I'm going to make sure that my mark lines up straight up and down with the bottom brace. Now you will have to drill two holes, front and back of the steel post of course. If you're worried about getting these two holes lined up, just use a clamp with a level and you'll be able to get your holes perfectly lined up and there won't be any droop or sag. Now comes the fun bit. <laughs> There's actually a lot of thought gone into this kit. Even the washers are elliptical to fit the face of the post. Perfect. The only difference between timber and steel is that for timber, you're gonna need a 16 mil auger bit. And hey, if you're into cool tools, the Fenceline Solutions extended socket for end assemblies works a treat on adjusting gates. That becomes... Well, I've got to admit that hanging gates is something I've always had a habit of putting off because I find it really frustrating. But with this hanging kit and the right tools, it was actually pretty easy. It might have even been fun. Guys, if you like this sort of video and you find it helpful, hit the little subscribe button down there, give it a thumbs up. There's plenty more on timthompson.ag. I'll catch you next week.